Hey guys, John Judd here. Today we're going to be talking about the mute solo button. In the last image line video, Scott glossed over this really quick. It might have been super easy to miss if you weren't paying attention. It's easily one of my favorite features in the new update, and it's so small, but it's really valuable. Basically, it's the ability to bypass a plugin with a button on the interface, the GUI or GUI. Here's how you get to it. Go to your plugin and you're going to hit this little gear icon in the upper left corner. Over here, this is your mute solo button. Often when trying to evaluate what a plugin was actually doing to a sound, I would go over in the mixer and hit this little button. But now they have it right on the plugin itself in the wrapper. That's part of the fruity wrapper. As you can see, both buttons are going on and off when you hit either. So why is this valuable? It's going to help establish how much makeup gain you need to apply to a sound after you have applied a certain effect. So an effect like this, I've done significant cuts that's going to likely bring the volume way down, thus would need a volume increase after that. You could always go and use these A and B compare, and a lot of the image line plugins have that, and a lot of other plugins have that, but this just seems really super easy and logical to me. Now, there are plugins out there that have their own bypass switches, which is great. So I have an IK multimedia emulation here of an LA-2A compressor. We have a guitar part. Here's a guitar part. <laughs> Okay, fine. You might be thinking, well, that has a bypass. We don't need to use this. Fair enough. The Native Instruments VC2A, which is also an emulation of the LA2A, does not have a bypass switch on the front. This makes it so easy. You have it. Bypassed. I've already set the makeup gain afterwards, so we didn't need to do that. But on many of your sounds, if you're compressing something or EQing it, you have to do some makeup gain. Now, here's the weird thing about that button. Watch this. If you right click, there's a little solo dealy here. If you hit solo, it's going to disable all the plugins on that insert. I'm about to hit it where I want you to look is right over here. You're going to see all the plugins are going to be disabled. There we go. Right click it again. All the plugins are enabled again. That's one of my favorite new features. That's really pretty solid. I mean, they compare A and B things with several settings. That's great, but this one is just very obvious and easy. So how does this work with synths? I have this little synth pattern here. I have two synths happening. One is Sakura, one is Morphine. Let's say you want to hear Morphine solo. You could take the Sakura button and mute it. So you notice when I hit this button right here, it's affecting the Sakura enable button down here. So they're linked, obviously. The other thing we did with the mixer plugins, we can also do with the synth plugins. Hit the solo. So that little button has multiple features. I didn't expect it would be that functional. So I hope that helped you with your mute solo button. Hope you're having a good day and I will catch you soon.